Okay, so hello and welcome to my new video. Today it's about Sevagot, the new Warframe which came with update 30, Call of the Tempest Starry. So let's get into it. Sevagot's passive ability. On death become Sevagot's shadow and fight to resurrect him by collecting the souls needed to rebuild his tombstone. His first ability reap. Sevagot's shadow flies outward, ravaging enemies in his path. Survivors are damaged by death's harvest over time. The souls of the dead fill the death well. His second ability is Soul. Plant a death seed in nearby targets to drain their life force. Reap what has been sown to detonate afflicted enemies, dealing a percentage of their health as radial damage. The souls of the dead Fill the death well. His third ability, Gloom. This ability is something like Nova's slow ability. Sevagot will slow enemies in radius. Sevagot's third ability, Exalted Shadow. When the death well fails, Sevagot can use this ability to summon Sevagot's shadow and uh, you can control him and use him. You can activate this ability even if it's just on 75%. Sevagot's Shadow's first ability, Embrace. This ability will pull enemies towards you, so you can easily slash them. His second ability, Consume. Dash through enemies and rip out their souls to heal Shadow. Do you remember when I was talking about Sevagot's passive ability? This is the only thing which you can use when you are in a stadium of near death. You have to kill five enemies with this ability. His third ability, Death's Harvest. Inflict nearby enemies with a harrowing condition. This ability will debuff enemies. They will be more vulnerable for damage. His third ability, Reunite, how the name says, Sevagot's shadow will reunite with Sevagot. Sevagot I'm using energy siphon for energy per second, redirection, vitality, primed vigor for health and shield, streamline for ability efficiency, primed flow for energy max, augur message and continuity for ability duration. Because of his fourth ability exalted shadow, it will last a lot longer. And after intensify, which is ability strength, same as Nova, his third ability, Gloom, it will slow enemies more. For Savagot's Shadow I'm using Physic U, Vitality and Redirection for Health, Primed Flow for Energy Max, and Emissions for Enemy Raider because I don't want to waste my time on Savagot's Shadow to find enemies. It is better to waste that time to kill them. After streamline for ability efficiency, intensify for ability strength, and the hunter's adrenaline to convert 45% of damage on health to energy. Shadow Claws. I'm using pressure point, which is melee damage, fury for attack speed, life strike for life steal on heavy attacks, molten impact for heat damage, it will shred shields. After North Wind, which is cold damage and Fever Strike, which is Toxin Damage, will create Viral Damage, it will multiply your Classical Damage. And after Judged Edge for Slash Damage. Revenues of Raid is Stance, which is coming with Shadow Claws. So you cannot remove it, you cannot give it on other Claws or any other weapons, it is just here forever. Okay, so Sevagot's first ability, Reap, it has you have two choices. You can just leave it be, it will fly towards and never come back. Or you can manually control it by aiming somewhere. It will stay on place or you can just move with it. This ability is used with his second ability which is so It will inflict enemies giving them damage over time. And when you will use this first ability, it will take their health some percentage of it and uh, it will just explode and give big damage. This combination is used mainly to fill the death well. 
because it is giving big damage so it is fast enough to fulfill your death well. His third ability, Gloom, it is slowing enemies but this is active ability you can turn it off or you can just leave it be until your energy comes out. It is like Nova's fourth ability on slowing enemies but uh, how you can see it is slowing enemies but uh, it is active and it has lower radius. After his fourth ability which is Exalted Shadow, he will summon Exalted Shadow, how the name says. And uh, now you have different abilities, you have Embrace which will pull enemies towards you, you can slash them and kill them, because you don't have any ranged weapons, so this is really nice. After his second ability is Consume, in uh, this uh, simulacrum it's not much working, but normally it is taking their health and uh, it is giving you some percentage of it and after you have after he got death harvest this ability will make your enemies more vulnerable for damage after we have reunite Savagot will reunite with Savagot's shadow and obtain Savagot's main blueprint from quest call of the tempestari and after from void storms which are unlocked by quest call of the tempestari on neptune you can get neuroptics on pluto chases and on veil proxima systems on neptune it is to level 50 on pluto it is to level 55 or again to 50 and on Veil Proxima it is level 90 to 100. Okay so I hope you like this video and see you next time.